Thank you very much. Um, and uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. I have a question, actually, about uh, the authorization that's coming up for the Office of uh, Science. We probably should be doing that in the next few months. And I think it pr presents quite an opportunity for us because there's a lot of support across the aisle uh, for the activities that are carried out uh, by the office. But I do think that for some of my colleagues, um, one of the challenges is around the environmental research portfolio. Uh, so I wonder if you could describe in more detail how the Office of Science Environmental Research Programs helped to meet the missions of the Department of Energy, uh, including the cleanup of legacy waste sites, and provide a unique opportunity uh, or contribution to the portfolio of environmental research carried out by other agencies, what those relationships with the other agencies uh, are, and how they're uh, coordinated with other relevant agencies and programs. Uh, that's, uh, uh, I'll, I'll certainly respond to that, but I'm no, maybe a f we can provide you as well a more full response. That's a very <laughs> expansive, sure. expansive question. Uh, so you're referring, I think, to the BER program specifically. Right. Uh, and, um, and of course, the, we have a very, very strong um, uh, bio biology-related program there, as you know, with a strong history, for example, in the Human Genome Project, in fact, in, in getting that getting that kicked off. Uh, so, uh, so today, uh, the uh, we are not. I mean, first, make it very clear: we're not involved in the you know uh, kind of some of the human health uh, uh, questions uh, directly, as opposed to using uh, advanced uh, genomics and uh, proteomics, et cetera, uh, to address a set of energy-related and environmental-related cleanup questions. Um, uh, there are, I might add that there are some other discussions have been initiated with us, uh, with NIH uh, asking us about capabilities in our laboratories that might be useful for the brain initiative. Uh, so that's in the very early stages, but could be something interesting. That's based mainly on our computational and sensor uh, uh, capacities. Uh, finally, of course, that program uh, is the center for what is a major part of the uh, climate change modeling uh, program, uh, a major engine uh, for, for doing that. And with combining it with our large-scale computational capabilities, getting to finer and finer spatial resolution. What are the other agencies with which you work on the, uh, in the area of climate research? Oh, there's a there's a broad set of, of agencies. I probably can't name them all, but uh, NOAA, NOAA, for example, would be a very important one. Uh, National Science Foundation, uh, another one. Um, I'm what guessing about NASA? Interior. Uh, what about NASA? Uh, uh, NASA, yes, NASA, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, very important. Can you uh, tell NASA. me more yeah. specifically about the work that you're doing around climate that relates to NASA and the importance of? Uh, the connection between the two agencies? Well, I think it's very complementary. I mean, NASA, of course, has uh, the, uh, the very strong observational uh, uh, capabilities, uh, providing data, uh, et cetera, and the Department of Energy, I would say, you know, in the end, our uh, uh, very major capacity is, is around high-performance computing uh, and, uh, and developing the, the, let's call it the software structures that one needs to, to analyze. Would you be comfortable with losing um, the responsibility for at least the climate part of the research portfolio because other agencies do similar things? Would it be okay to just deep six the no, energy portfolio? No. Uh, first, first of all, I think the Department of Energy has the greatest capacity uh, in this in this area. It would be very hard to very hard to replace, uh, given, uh, given again, our, our high-performance computing uh, uh, capabilities. And secondly, uh, it, is, uh, it is such direct, it's so directly connected to the energy system. Uh, so I think, I think the department remains the place where that can be most effectively carried out. Do you think it, um, is there work that you're doing that you believe might be duplicative in other agencies? Have you found that in the relationship that you have, say, with NOAA, NASA, NSF? No, I, so I think there, there's been now a functioning for quite a long time uh, the interagency climate change uh, group uh, that is specifically uh, dedicated to uh, having complementary programs executed but come together into a whole without gaps. So you don't think there's any duplication of effort in that area? Um, no, I would say nothing, nothing material. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman.